Another highly requested prescription for us to break down is known as Cabinuva, which was FDA approved in 2021 for those suffering from HIV, and it uses an injection method rather than daily oral pills. And the dosage of those injections is every one or two months. And Cabinuva is actually made of two different drugs, and those would be Rilpavirine and Cabotegravir. And those two medications work together to inhibit HIV replication inside of our T cells. So typically, an HIV virus would infect our CD4 T cells, allowing its genetic material in the form of RNA to be transmitted to our cytoplasm. And then its reverse transcriptase is able to turn that RNA into DNA. That DNA can then be moved to our nucleus, where it will then be integrated to that CD4 cells DNA, allowing that CD4 cell to now make the proteins needed to build more HIV virus, creating essentially an HIV factory. But these two drugs work on two different mechanisms of that pathway. First, rilpavirine works by inhibiting reverse transcriptase, that enzyme necessary to move RNA to DNA. So now that HIV RNA cannot become HIV DNA, so we don't have anything to move into our nucleus. However, there's another mechanism that's used by capotegravir, which is an integrase inhibitor. So if there is some DNA that is made, it's not going to be integrated into our DNA. So it's going to slow down that process of any HIV DNA that is produced being incorporated into that CD4 cells DNA. Additionally, ahead of one receiving these injections, one's healthcare provider may provide oral pills of these two medications to ensure that one doesn't have any adverse reactions. So make sure to stay connected to my channel and with Dane Garvin as we continue breaking down a variety of different scientific topics.